Hello everybody, my name is Alan I'm from Sauber Lab and today will be another video about Docker. In this video specifically, we're going to show how you can install Trillion and how this application can help in your life and how you can organize your informations. So if I come here in the screen, I can show the Trillion demo and what you can do with this application. So it's really similar for OneNote. You can have all the informations right as notebook. Also, you can have some inbox where you can add some informations, look like uh, what you need to do, grocery stores, or some questions that you have. So if I come back here, you can have in journey, some uh, inbox, some formatting template, some journey that you can add, some work information, look like HR projects and other things you can organize. You can make some drawings, depend on what's your needs and you can have either the family tree to organize yourself. So all this information can be only one place and all this information can be easy access for you. If you're running a server, you can put local or you can use proxy manager to have external for your network. Also, if you come here in work, you can define what's the process that you can have or what's the new projects and you can add other things that's interesting for you is that uh, all the information can add a date so if you come here in journey you can add a new template and this one will be for the new date so this date i make a new note so here's the note and inside this one i have another note so everything is organized in the way that make easy for your life and everything simple so if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it we're going to show in this video but first of all don't forget to leave a like consider to subscribe for the channel and let's understand a little bit more about it Before we start to do any application, let's go to the base. This one is the Trillion Notes, and these Trillion Notes will have exactly the same layout as that demo that's the one that we downloaded before. And here they give all the features that you can do. So you can have an image, you can have some analysis, you can have some trees, you can self-host it and sync this information and other information as well. And here they say that this size is quite small. So if you look, it's 344 without any information. Once that we start to add more information, we'll start to add in the top of it. Don't have so many styles yet because it's quite a new application and this, they say that it have architecture for 8664 bits. But in my case, I will run in Oracle Cloud with ARM system, so we know that's working with ARM. In this way, you can try to run in a Raspberry Pi and possibility this will work well as well. So have this one in mind, what we needed to do. We're not gonna install use the manual step. We're gonna go directly in the GitHub website where they have this image. So then Trillion, and here it's all the information that you can install and here's the page showing exactly the same application that you have. In our case, we're gonna try to install it using Docker Compose. So to use Docker Compose, you have all these instructions, how you can do electronics, how you do templates and other things but we are going to look for the docker-compose.iml. You have two options. You can download this option using the SSH and install it, but we're not going to do it. So before we go ahead, we need to be clear that you, to install this application, you need to have two things. First, you need to have a server running or a computer running. Second thing, this computer or this server need to have Docker installed. And also you can have Portainer because it will make easier your life but if you want to choose directly in SSH, Portainer is not required. Because I like to use this stack for Portainer, we're gonna use Portainer. So in my case, I already have my server here running. I will copy this information and open my Portainer. Here in my Portainer, I have two cores and 12 gigabytes of RAM memory. It's more than enough, but you don't need to go for so many information because this system is not so heavy. So here, what you're gonna do, we're gonna create a new stack. So we click in stack click add stack and we're gonna paste that information. The name of the stack that we're gonna use will be exactly the same so I can copy this information here and let's understand what they're gonna install. So the revision of this stack is 2.1. They will serve as a trillion. The image that we're gonna install is this one, Zadan trillion. The restart policy will be always. You can change it for unless it's stopped, but always it means that if your server restart, always will be this application on. And here will be the environmental and the ports and the volume. 
This environmental, I don't need to have in this instance, so I can remove it. The port, in my case, I would change for port 9001 because already opened this port, but you can leave as a port 88 and it will be fine because most of the applications not need this port. And here will be the volume. If I leave this way, they will create a portainer volume called Trillium, and this will be the information that it will save. But I don't like this idea because if I want to backup my system, I need to go in a specific volume for portainer, what makes it more difficult. So what I'm going to do, I'll remove this information, I'll let slash mmt slash docker slash trillion and that uh, here will be the place that it will save this information. So I have everything in place, I will come here and put deploy this time. This time will be quite fast because they would load not so much information, but here is the trillion installed. So if I come here in container, here the training is starting, but let's see what they will say as a log. I click here and click log. Here they give the information for all the log, how much information to use, and what's the frequency and continue on. Now we can try to access Trillion. To access Trillion, I will use exactly the same IP address of my server plus port 9001. If you want to have external access for it and you don't want to use the IP address for it, you can use Proxy Manager or the Cloudfire Tunnel to link it and therefore you can external access it or you can access a web page. In our case we're not going to do it because for me it's easy to leave it this way but I suggest you to create this link in order to make it everything accessible external. So now you have two options, you can sync for a desktop, so if you have this application installed on your desktop you can sync it, you can sync for another server or can install it from zero. In my case I will start from zero because I want to have everything new. So I'll put new user and put next. Please leave a strong password if you're gonna have external access for it. If you have only local, you can leave as a one, two, three and it will be simple. In my case, I will leave a simple password only because I'm installing it. So I'll put set a password and now they will give me to access it. In this case, you don't have option to add a user, so you don't need to do it. Here, once that you start this first time, you have the demo where they have all the information. So you have your inbox where give some information that you want. You have some formatting that you can have. So you can have a schedule or a table. You can have some checklist that you need to do. You can have some information that's highlight. You can have some code blocks and these code blocks you can edit after to have the information what they're gonna do or how to control it. You can have some mathematical information so you can create some calculations and make it a notation in a simple way. If I come here back, you can have some journey so you can have in a trip, you can define what you're gonna visit in the trip and you can add what you did in that day. So you come here, you say in this trip, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to do that. If you come for Christmas present, you can create some links that will link for a separate website. You can come here back and you can get a daily activity so you can track what you're doing and this way you create some tables for it. If you come for tech, you can define what you want to do. So you can have some nodes, you can have some diagrams in the way that you want. So you can define the sequence of activities that you want to do in order to make some program work or some activity to make it work. If I come here back, you can have some books that uh, you can define. So uh, I want to read this book or I want to make these comments or I want to do some ideas. You can add your family tree in this option. So you can say Queen Elizabeth, then Phillips and how the families work and what is the main parents or everything to organize your life or organize your family. If I come here, I can define some work activities, so HR, process, projects, and this one you can have extra notes. If you want to do a sub note for this one, you only click a child, and in this way, when you come here in project, they will give this note. So you can start to tape what you want to do, and that you can create a new note for this way, so you can cascade. So this information, it's here, and that will be linked down and down in order to make look like a book, have subsections for it. And here some script options, so you can create some 
weight tracks or some graphics according from the date that you put and continue on. So here as well, you can come here in option and you can switch for mobile if you're using in a tablet. You can have everything bigger or at least the links bigger for you can access it and touch it. If you come here in options, you can have overview. It's interesting that the way that they do the options is exactly the same way that they do the uh, notes. So you can select different notes and they will create different information. Here's the shortcuts that you can create in order to make your life easy. You can have some text or how much information that you have, some codes, you can change your password, you can sync it for a different server, you can backup all your information to be sure that uh, all the data is saved. And also you can check what was done over the day. So if I come here, recent changes, here they will give all the information that has been changed and the dates. In this way, you can have a trustability, what has been done and what information has been added or been created. In this way, you can do audits for the information that you are adding in order to be sure that everything's in place in the way that you want. I hope that you like this video. I hope that's interesting. This one is another tool, not necessarily that will replace OneNote, but it's another tool that you can have local self-host and be able to access information and make your life easy and more organized. So if you like this video and think that was interesting, please don't forget to leave your like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not yet, and see you next time.